Well, here we are in 2009, in a uh, brand new year, and for those of you who uh, may be looking for a new hobby to get started on this year, may I suggest that you uh, try moccasin making. Make your own moccasins your, yourself. It's a relatively inexpensive uh, hobby. Uh, even if you went and bought everything that you needed to make your own moccasins and whatnot, and the leather, and it, you know, it could run you maybe $100. Uh, but Basically, to get started, fifty, seventy-five dollars, and and you can have enough tools and enough leather to make yourself two or three pairs of moccasins for yourself or for somebody else. The great thing about learning this craft is that you can translate it into other things, like making leather bags or pants or shirts or anything leather. Uh, the basic skills that you learn from making moccasins, the patterns and whatnot, can be translated into making other types of of uh, leather crafts. Now, here's a uh, example of uh, the second pair of moccasins that I ever made. Now, I'm self-taught. Uh, before I had all the tools, I punched holes with a nail. <laughs> uh, now I have uh, quite a bit of tools, and uh, you see, um, I've greatly improved over the years. Now, there's not a manufacturer out there that makes men's zipper back soft soles. Uh, so I created a pattern, made my own. Uh, see, I've gotten a lot better over the years. Added the zippers to it. Um, you see, I wear, worn these so much that uh, they actually need a repair. But that's the beauty of making your own moccasins. You can do repairs. You can fix them up. You can change them. Uh, if you want to start uh, doing some traditional type moccasins, here's a nice pair of uh, Cherokee moccasins. I used to make quite a few of those. And a friend of mine uh, used to sell them at Pow Wow for me. Uh, I don't do that anymore. Next is a uh, nice pair of Eastern Woodland moccasins. Uh, again, you can go online and, and even find the pattern on how to uh, make these. Uh, they're very simple. A seam up through the center and a little stitching in the back. Uh, real simple pair to make. Here's a pair of uh, Lakota low cut moccasins I make. You see, um, you can mix, there's uh, different leather on the bottom than there is on the top. You can mix your leathers, your colors, do whatever you want and be creative. Next I'm going to show you a pair of Apache moccasin boots that I made. Uh, I love these boots. They really came out very good and uh, I enjoy wearing them. Now these aren't traditional Apache boots. Traditionals would have had a uh, rawhide sole on the bottom and the toe would have come up and kind of made a point. That's so that they could kind of ski across the sand as, and uh, uh, the rawhide would protect their feet against uh, rocks and cactuses and sharp things like that. Now you don't have to make just moccasin uh, patchy boots. You can make any kind of boots you want. You know, the fun thing about making your own moccasins is it allows you to be creative. Now here's a pair of uh, moccasins a friend of mine made for me and uh, sent to me. Uh, they're styled after the Kiowa dusters. The fringe would have been a lot longer on the real traditionals and that was designed to kind of drag over the footprint and hide your footprint as you went through the, the woods and whatnot. Moccasin making can be a lot of fun. Uh, most pairs of moccasins, uh, again, something like that is only about $7 by the time you get done. Now, maybe you don't want to uh, go through the ha hassles of, uh, of uh, creating a pattern and cutting the leather and punching the holes and all that. Uh, you can go online, uh, and go to Tandy Leather, uh, and you can buy uh, a kit for a half the cost of what it would be to uh, buy a brand new pair of moccasins off the shelf. Uh, it's pre-cut, pre-punched, uh, the inner padding is already in place. All you have to do is stitch them up, put them on your feet, and you've still made your own moccasins and saved yourself a lot of money too. Now in other videos we'll get into uh, tools and uh, places where to find patterns and and things of that nature. Um, but it's a fun, enjoyable hobby. Uh, I recommend it to anybody who wants to try something new. Uh, again, it's it's uh, more inexpensive than, say, remote control airplanes or cars. Uh, 
I have some friends that are into that and they spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars <laughs> but you it's very rewarding too uh, once you've made moccasins uh, and you've made them for friends and relatives and whatnot for the holidays for gifts uh, you know you really get the feeling pretty good about yourself and uh, again even uh, a pair say uh, like these here um, by the time you get done and get it all set up seven dollars eight dollars at tops and uh, you've made a nice gift for somebody or you've made something special for yourself so check it out folks moccasin making can be an awful